new song view piano roll editor mixer the mixer is where we manage our tracks highlighted here is information about track one the type column indicates that track one is an instrument track we can change this to a rhythm track by clicking instrument and selecting rhythm to create a rhythm track from scratch track create rhythm track and track 2 appears highlighted in the mixer it's a good idea to name each track to add drums edit track add sounds and here we see a list of the available percussion okay let's do some shopping we'll take a bass drum a snare drum a hi-hat and a cymbal click OK or press enter and the selection appears at the beginning of the editor Normally each drum would have its own track, but today we're keeping it simple. Most modern music comes in 4-4 four, four time, 4 beats to the bar. A bar, also called a measure, is the basic unit of rhythm. Here I'm highlighting the second bar. Each bar or measure is divided into four quarter notes. We can play this back by clicking at the beginning of the selection and play. To delete a note, click on it. Each quarter note can be divided into two eighth notes. To play from the beginning of a track, click the double arrows and play. One, two, three, and four. Each quarter note can also be divided into four sixteenth notes. Notes can be dragged between instruments, between beats. They can be lengthened and shorten. To delete a block of notes, select the notes and press delete. OK, let's make a rhythm track. It's logical to start at the bottom with the bass drum. The bass drum's favorite spot to thump is on the first beat of each measure. Note value is not of vital importance here. For most drums, an eighth note will do it just as well as a quarter note. I like to use quarter notes. The bass drum's second favorite thump in place is on the third beat. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. The snare drum loves the gaps. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Hi hats like to tick away in the background. They have a fondness for eighth notes. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
and we'll begin and end our short composition with a symbol. Now here, note value does matter. Let's clear the text a little here. Now, filling in every bar of a song in this manner could easily become tedious. There are two ways to avoid this. We can copy any selection of notes and paste it anywhere we like by making a selection, edit, copy, clicking at the selection point, insertion point, I'm sorry, back to edit, Paste mix. Deadly simple. Took me weeks to figure that out. The second way is by creating a repeating loop. To do this, select the notes, edit, repeat selected notes in a loop and we're given the choice of playing the loop just once or as many times as we like. Just once is fine here. And the loop appears in its own sub-editor, just below the main editor, where the notes can be changed. All the information contained in the loop now lives in this green 16th note, or loop note. Anywhere we want to hear the loop, we click in a note. simple as that. One more thing before we call it a day. How to change the tempo. Dead easy. We go to the top here where the tempo is displayed in beats per minute and change the number. Higher for a faster tempo, lower for a slower one. 